<laughs> All right, the second uh, wine in uh, the fall 2024 allotment is our 2023 Chardonnay. So Chardonnay, uh, it's a grape that we grow uh, here as well. If you're looking out from the tasting room uh, through our glass garage door there, on that pretty view of the vineyard, you are looking directly at the Chardonnays. Uh, so Chardonnay, you know, we can't really grow Cabernet, or sorry, Chardonnay uh, here in Kansas. Well, yeah, that's it. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we can, uh, we can grow Chardonnay, which is a, uh, a hybrid actually of Chardonnay, uh, the wine, the white wine, the most famous white wine in the world, grown all over the place from, you know, California, France, uh, lots of other places as well. Um, and then Civol Blanc, which is another grape actually we grow here. So they kind of bred together the Chardonnay and the Civol, and uh, it made for the Chardonnay. So it's kind of Chardonnay style wine, um, but that we can grow here in Kansas. It'll put up with our winters, we'll put up with our summers, it'll put up with us as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this one, uh, we tried to make in kind of a Chardonnay style. So we did uh, oak this one. Uh, not hugely oak. We've actually we've oaked this more in the past. Uh, this is a little bit of a lighter oak. Uh, second use um, oak. This one was barrel fermented. Uh, so basically what that means is we pump juice into a barrel and then added a little bit of yeast in there. And so it started the, uh, the fermentation actually in the barrel. So when it started that conversion from juice to wine, uh, we do that in the barrel. You have to go and you have to stir it every, uh, every couple of days or so to make sure that the yeast are still active in there and you're still getting uh, that fermentation going on. Uh, what it makes for is a little bit uh, bigger mouthfeel, uh, a little bit, uh, hopefully more velvety texture uh, to it, which I think this one definitely has. Um, and so this one, we uh, we hope that, uh, you know, it, it's kind of, it's, it's a little bit different than the Chardonnay's we put out in the past, but uh, pretty similar. Uh, what, what do you think of it, Adam? I think uh, for the family members you have coming in or like to spend time with, if they like an oak Chardonnay, this one will be fairly close to that. Um, if you've got, if the wine club members have been here long enough and they remember the Burr Reserve White, this is kind of actually reminiscent of that, mm -hmm. the American oak. Um, but yeah, great texture on it. Um, if you're looking for more of those baked fruits, like baked apple is the one that just really stands out to me. And then there's actually a little bit of that uh, fun little coconut aroma and mm -hmm. to it as well. For sure. What uh, what would you pair this one with? Mm, I think you could definitely do it with turkey. Ooh, actually, so hear me out. Um, turkey bacon Swiss. Ah. With some Dijon on it. There you go. Oh, and some of your mother's homemade uh, sourdough. Yeah, there we go. Lunch wine. Yeah, all, all, lunch wine is always good wine. So, uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or yeah, like if you're if you wanted to do something a little bit more hearty going into the winter too, um, if you can do some kind of soup with gnocchi in it, like they have over at Auburn. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, some of those like richer potato uh, soups would work well too. What's winter? By the way, I know we don't know what that is yet, but it's coming. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, well, so 2023 Chardonnay, um, second of our two whites uh, that we have in this allotment. We hope that you enjoy it. Cheers. Cheers.